Now, let me tell you the effect of this sympathomimetic drugs on the heart rate and as well as the blood pressure of the individual, right? So, what we are discussing is the catecholamines. So, now let me tell you the effect of catecholamines on the heart rate and as well as the blood pressure of the individual right on the heart rate and as well as the blood pressure of the individual now so if you take the blood pressure like we have the systolic blood pressure and as well as the diastolic blood pressure right systolic blood pressure and as well as diastolic blood pressure now you take the systolic blood pressure right if you take the systolic blood pressure Systolic blood pressure is determined by the cardiac output. Right? Is determined by the cardiac output. Cardiac output of the individual is mainly because of the cardiac contractility and that is your beta 1 receptor action. Right? That is your beta 1 receptor action. Because the cardiac contractility on the heart, what we have is the beta 1 receptors. Whereas, you take the diastolic blood pressure. Diastolic blood pressure, it depends upon the state of the blood vessels. Right? It all, diastolic blood pressure, it depends upon the state of blood vessels. Alright? Now, now, what you have to remember here is, you take this diastolic blood pressure. Whenever there is stimulation of alpha 1 receptors right whenever there is stimulation of alpha 1 receptors what will happen is there will be vasoconstriction right there will be vasoconstriction and thereby what will happen is the diastolic blood pressure increases right thereby the diastolic blood pressure increases Whereas, you take the beta 2 receptor activation, right? Because in the blood vessels, we also have beta 2 receptors as well, right? So, if beta 2 receptors are activated, that will result in, right? That will result in vasodilatation and thereby diastolic blood pressure decreases, right? Thereby diastolic blood pressure decreases. So, remember this point. When alpha 1 receptors which are present in the blood vessels are stimulated, there will be increase in the blood pressure. When beta 2 receptors in the blood vessels are stimulated, there will be vasodilatation and there will be decrease in the diastolic blood pressure. So, the effect of the sympathetic nervous system on the blood vessels, it completely depends upon predominant type of receptors on that particular blood vessels. Alright, now, now let me tell you what will happen if the diastolic blood pressure increases or if the diastolic blood pressure decreases. First, now remember a point here, whenever the diastolic blood pressure is increased, right, when the diastolic blood pressure is increased, so increased diastolic blood pressure will stimulate the baroreceptors, right, will stimulate the baroreceptors. Now where are these baroreceptors present? Remember this particular baroreceptors, they are present on the carotid sinus and as well as aortic sinus. Okay, so whenever the diastolic blood pressure is increased, that will stimulate the baroreceptors. So, this particular stimulation of the baroreceptors, what it will do is, it will cause the release of the acetylcholine, right? It will cause the release of acetylcholine. That is called as baroreceptor mediated release of acetylcholine, which is nothing but reflex action. Now, if the diastolic blood pressure of the individual increases, our body will try to act in such a way that the increased diastolic blood pressure will come back to normal diastolic blood pressure. How is that action occurring? Whenever there is increased diastolic blood pressure, that will stimulate the baroreceptor, right? That will stimulate the baroreceptor mediated acetylcholine release, right? Acetylcholine release. Now, right? What is this? This is a reflex action. Right, that is a reflex action. So, a point what you should remember is, whenever this acetylcholine is released, what it will do? 
it will decrease the heart rate of the individual right it will decrease the heart rate of the individual now how do you think the heart rate of the individual is reduced so this is via activation of right this is via activation of m2 receptors okay so via activation of m2 receptors there will be decrease in the heart rate of the individual so which is a reflex action right and why is this decrease in the heart rate that is because acetylcholine will stimulate the m2 receptors so once the heart rate of the individual reduces right once the heart rate of the individual reduces what will happen the diastolic blood pressure of the individual also reduces right remember this point so whenever there is increased diastolic blood pressure there will be reflex action release of the acetylcholine and thereby the diastolic blood pressure decreases or comes back to normal now in other way round if the diastolic blood pressure is decreased right if the diastolic blood pressure is decreased so reduction in diastolic blood pressure what it will do is it will increase the central sympathetic outflow this is also a reflex action right it will increase the central sympathetic outflow all right so it increases the central sympathetic outflow thereby what will happen is there will be increase in the heart rate of the individual so once the heart rate of the individual increases so immediately the blood pressure also will come back to normal all right so this is what is your the variations of the diastolic blood pressure so remember a point here now the effect on the heart rate on as well as the blood pressure is that systolic blood pressure is mediated by your cardiac output that is beta 1 receptor act action diastolic blood pressure completely depends upon the state of the blood vessels within the blood vessels we have alpha 1 receptors and beta 2 receptors alpha 1 receptor activation will cause vasoconstriction and thereby diastolic blood pressure increases beta 2 receptor act receptor activation will cause vasodilatation and thereby diastolic blood pressure decreases so whenever there is increase in the blood pressure ultimately there will be reflex release of acetylcholine that will decrease the heart rate of the individual whenever there is decrease in the diastolic blood pressure of the individual there will be reflex act activation of the sympathetic nervous system and that will increase the heart rate of the individual all right next next let me discuss about the noradrenaline right so remember this is the action of the adrenaline right so this you can remember that this is the action of adrenaline on the blood pressure and as well as the heart rate of the individual now you take the action of noradrenaline noradrenaline normally it decreases the heart rate but if it is given after a dose of atropine it increases the heart rate right so the reflex action whatever is there it is abolished all right so remember a point here noradrenaline normally decreases the heart rate but it increases the heart rate of the individual if given after atropine right if it is given after atropine okay right next next let me tell you another important point right so what is your adrenaline doing now adrenaline it will increase the systolic blood pressure right by stimulating the beta 1 receptors it will increase the systolic blood pressure of the individual we have a clinical condition which is called as anaphylactic shock anaphylactic shock it is because of the formation of antigen and antibody reaction the blood pressure of the individual suddenly falls down so you take this adrenaline this is a important multiple choice question adrenaline it is the drug of choice for anaphylactic shock right it is a drug of choice for anaphylactic shock because in case of anaphylactic shock there is fall in the blood pressure of the individual so when you give adrenaline it will increase the blood pressure of the individual in anaphylactic shock now what is the dosage of adrenaline in anaphylactic shock 
what is the root of administration now let me discuss